dropping the four wheeler, loading the seed, and then we'll do like a, a interview saying basically what we're doing and then do it. So. actually with myself I actually weighed the seed so I weighed myself with the bucket and then I had weighed the self myself with five pounds figured out what five pounds of um, clover seed looks like so that gives us a, a base to measure off of so you can see my little lines that I drew that little line there means we're at five pounds of clover seed all right guys, so it is time to plant some clover seed. It's perfect conditions for frost seeding here in the Ozarks. We're still getting those like 20 to 30 degree mornings um, and nights. And then right now, like even today, it's up in the 60s, which means the soil is freezing. So it's expanding. It's gonna grab that seed and bring it back down in and uh, hopefully start a germination process and be protecting the seed at the exact same time. So it's perfect conditions for us to frost seed, but that doesn't mean that you cannot frost seed right now if you aren't having freezing conditions. If you have exposed soil, you have uh, moisture, and you have sunlight, it's going to do the exact same thing. The nice thing about doing the frost seeding is it is going to grab that seed. It's going to bring it into the soil. It's going to protect it from the elements, from rodents, from birds. Um, but if you are not going to be having any of those freezing conditions and the seeds are going to be exposed on the soil, just plant at a higher rate. So you can plant from Two pounds per acre up to six pounds per acre per clover what we've got here today is just a, a regular white and a red clover that we're going to be mixing together in these food plots we're out here on the bear hollow ranch property some of the properties that i manage and uh, as you can tell this is a pretty new food plot it's only been established a year and a half had the dozers come in and work it a lot of soil a lot of rocks um, so even without the frost as an element in this it would still do really good in this food plot so what we've done is i've weighed this bucket i've weighed the bucket with five pounds in it we're going to do five pounds per acre because um, we are having some of that frost element but i do want to plant it really thick at the same time so we're going to do five pounds per acre we're in about a four and a half or close to five acre food plot right here but i got the earthway spreader here on the back of the four wheeler so i don't have to do it by hand because there is a lot um, but i'm going to do it at a very low rate that way I make sure not to overseed and waste seed. So if I do it at a low rate and I do the whole food plot and I still got seed left over, I'll just go back over it again and make sure it's a really nice, even uh, spread seed on this food plot. So just refilled the cedar. Um, we got another little food plot up here on the corner. It's not very far from here. It's just a few hundred yards. It's a nice little staging plot. Uh, got this planted. Actually, the the ratio that I was going on the four wheeler with the amount of seed worked perfectly. Got a really good coat on this, and barely had to do like two little laps just to finish off the seed that was in this cedar. So um, this is going to turn into a nice clover patch. We're going to drive up the road, get this seeded, and then we're done with this property. So uh, we're out in another one of our properties here on Bear Hollow Ranch. I'm going to quickly go through and clover seed this. It's probably close to a three and a half, four acre food plot. Um, we took a couple of deer off here. Chris, one of our pro staffers, took his first ever out-of-state buck out of here. 
Anthony with dry shot took his first deer in his entire life out of here and this was just hammered it was two foot tall beginning of season with brassicas and everything through here I mean the turnips were the size of softballs if not bigger but this is the first year for this food pot to be established. I don't have any clover out here. We're gonna go topically apply this with the frost seeding method. Hopefully it comes in really nice and thick. We'll get back in here this fall and plant it. Um, but this food plot is eaten down to absolutely nothing. And uh, a lot of times while you're sitting out here, if you did all day sit, you were at least gonna see 60 deer uh, meandering through this area at any point in time throughout the day. So I'm gonna get to planting and uh, get this food plot ready to go. final food plot is done it looks great um, as you guys probably noticed it's not looking really great right now it's really rocky from the aerial footage you can probably see a lot of rocks I got a lot of armadillos that are on this property and even coming here this last year with the RTP even though it disked it up it had that cultipacker it, it packed all those rocks down at surface level or even below and then over the season they have gotten in here and they have dug it up tremendously but I uh, got over here and broadcasted the clover seed on it and it should look really really good the spring going into the summer we've got a lot of big bucks still right here this is where um, like I said Craig and I shot our bucks this year almost in the exact same spot and this year we're looking to have probably even bigger bucks that are calling this place home so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this management vlog there's got a lot more that are going to be coming out so make sure you guys subscribe comment down below what you want to see and until next time have a better than average day that talk game has improved greatly throughout the season because I couldn't hit one.